Hi guys, Captain Moffat here. We're gonna talk about a movie I watched recently now, and uh, it's called Birdman. Pretty interesting. Won an Oscar in 2014, I think, for something for for best screen or something. I, I don't know. I don't remember. But point is, uh, it's an interesting, deep, kind of deep movie. And it was a bit complex for me. Sometimes I forgot, sometimes I remembered, but it's interesting. It's about an artist's career. He's drunk, not drunk, but he is depressed of himself. He was a very famous bird man before in the back in the times and he thinks that he was stuck in the cell himself. It's a bit of a documentary about our modern world and our sociality and uh, about the new world, you know, accepting new things like steam and other things and not staying in the past but also I think it's a talking about maybe embrace the past and embrace and sometimes maybe talk to your families and you know talk with meetings and eating and such and have a social contact it's like an old friend or something but also respect the new the new futuristic one old friend also but anyway Point is, he is talking about critics. He talks about having a new actors, and then he gets like, yeah, he can also say, I also can act, and he has an interesting voice in his head that taunts him and says, "You're nothing without me. You're with me. We can be one. We can be, we can be the glory again." And he says, "No, it's the past. This cannot be. It cannot be his." It's a bit turmoiled, can we say? And he is a type of superhero, I think. A type, I suppose, but I'm not sure. But the point is, very interesting deep movie. Like the visuals, like the poster for this movie, like the drama between the doctor and another actor, and also like that is after the scenes they have done, after the plays they have faced, we see the reality of their faces. Sad. She says, oh, another one says, oh, I don't want to be in Broadway. And that one says, you're good, you're good, you're all right, supporting and such. And they say that the protagonist is very nice, throws some minor problems with his personality device. And now he actually was very famous now. And the other guy says, oh, I have 12,000 in YouTube and Twitter. And... He says, you did that bad on script, certain parts in the movie, yes. But they're very, you know, it's a, like a tasty chocolate or something. Very tasteful, in a way. Interesting movie, in a way. But the point is, very interesting, he plays a murder scene, he plays different roles. And now he played the same role that he played before, a murder to a dude. And he played without clothes, walked around in Washington, or walked around in Broadway, without clothes. And only his um, calzones with only his underwear. And everyone started to make him famous. And he said, no, 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 please, don't take my picture. Go, 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 go. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. He's like, nope. And then he said, fuck off to a guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> that is the same guy that he accidentally that he accidentally didn't do it. But he said, oh, I maybe made that the lamp fall on one of my acts when I acted with this guy. He maybe made it, but I don't know really. But And the guy says, I will, I will stem you, you bastard. I will stem you. I will give you beat. And the other guy says, no, 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 don't pull the telephone. Please don't pull it, don't pull it. Damn it, don't pull it, no! No, can we please talk for 10 seconds? No, don't pull it, don't close! No! And the other actor, guy that says, in one of his lines he says, I want to have your eyes. If I could, I could have your eyes and put it in my, to my eye sockets and see the world you see. And that was kind of gross, I think. But anyway, it was an interesting poem. Even if it's a weird poem. And then the daughter has dotted in uh, the whole uh, movie, or in some parts of the movie, she has dotted on toilet paper how long the Broadway people have acted for the couple of years or so in that business that the father does.
in the movie. And now he's talking to the critic that I'm watching currently in the movie, but I will say the last part. I will review the last part when I watch the full movie, so this and a half review. This is an half. But the critic said, Oh, you do simple cartoons and simple act. It's nothing of an acting. And then I say, Just give me a her a beating, please. All form of acting, all form of cartoon and media is different and such. Critics need to be, because they are a balance like the wolves, for example. Think about it. It's like the wolves and sheep. Too many sheep? Less wolves. Too many wolves, less sheep. They are basically opposites of each other. They need to be somewhere there. But critics don't need to critic so much of it. Critics are nice. They, they point things that certain people point on. Which, if we didn't have them, we could do ourselves. But uh, the point is, they need to be there. They need to exist in some way. But anyway, she say, Oh, the limbo cartoons and such. And she's like, mm -hmm. I'm like this. If I were him, I would be like, please, please, uh, let you go out of the room, please, go out. Because if I worked as him for, I don't know, 19, 1992, for example, I would be like very pissed off. So, um, after that talk, he says, you can take that paper somewhere else and something, something mean. But anyway, she didn't have foundations on her criticism, and afterwards he got on the street, got a bit drunk, and uh, slept. And his alter ego, Birdman, said to him, Do you want action? Action! He said to him, We don't need... We don't need a... Um, uh, what should we say? We don't need a philosopher, a pedophist, uh, a philosopher, and a, and a thinking person. We need action, he said. We can be like the old days. And we saw some action scenes, some CGI and action scenes. Kind of cool in a way, but action. Cool action way. Kind of cool costume of the alter ego. And then after that, he... After that, he would perform the same performance he did the two times. The other two times. And he became so famous that there was flowers in his room. <laughs> and a lot of stuff. And some touching moments... And then they said, oh, they wanted to do a new performance. And the perform the people that said, oh, they, the first act is best. The second act is the best. And then the, they said, oh, the first, blah, blah. And they said that the whole movie is kind of good. But then one of them says, new performance, new people to act on, or new people to perform on. And then he goes in in the same role, says, oh, I'm... Why do you with him? Blah 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 shooting and then takes a nine M and nine pistol and something and he had a real bullet and but this movie is very 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 entertaining. It was very fun in the last part then. And and he said that he also um alright. He also said yeah and he said, ah, and he said those lines he said before. Yeah, he said those lines he said before. Sorry, I forgot. But he said those lines he said before, and he fucking didn't. He said, what do you love me no, or blah, blah, blah. And the same lines he said before, yeah. And the other one says, he says, why? I maybe shoot myself. And he shot himself. And he shot him in the fucking nose. And then in the hospital, like, he's so famous that he made a term of, uh, he's a super... A super extravaganza person of art. He has shown the blood of the American, the American you know, art form or something. He had created a new art basically one one night. He has become a star on one night. A failed star has become a one non uh, one non star. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit of tired in the throat. <clears throat> but he has become a new star, and they're like, "Yeah, I can do a new prosthetic on your nose." Says his manager. And he's like, his wife's like, slap, I don't care, what the fuck are you doing? He's been shooting fucking his own nose. He shot his nose instead of his head? He shot his own nose. What a good luck he shot his own nose instead of his head. Because it was a real bullet instead of a fake one. But it was interesting. It was a good scene, it was a good movie. And I give my recommendations. 
I like the last part when he says well, this Birdman, when Birdman is going to the toilet also. Nah, yeah, alright. He's talking to his alter ego, and his nose is kind of bigger than he was. Small nose he had like this, he had like a small nose, and now he's a big nose. But anyway, I like the movie. I give art at least a 6. I give acting, or, you know, story. I give it a freaking 9. And I give... Um, the performance or I give the movie overall a 10 so I give it a 6 and a 9 and a 10 that's my final score and the movie was great goodbye